it's Ian with Gruber Motor Company and today I'm going to be showing you how to remove the MCU out of the Tesla Model S. So, <clears throat> first thing I do is do the glove box before turning off the center display. If your center display works, you want to make sure to go to your settings and power off the display before doing any kind of removal. If you can't do that, then you're just gonna have to go ahead and pop open your uh, front and get access to your 12 volt and remove that so that you take all power out of the car before we get digging into it. Make sure you lower the steering wheel all the way and back towards you to give yourself as much room as possible before starting the project. To lower the steering wheel, press on the brake, power up the car, and that'll let you move it down and back as far as possible. Inside of here, kind of the 12 volt section, so we're gonna be removing some of these panels. Gain access. main fuse block right here but we're gonna actually have to take off some of this stuff to get to the the actual battery terminal I need my tools now to pop off some of these clips and just this one actually you don't want to drop this so I kind of rock the two pieces together out like this this little cover these tabs pull out like that this comes straight up now, we do need to remove this side. I believe this one turns. Alrighty, now we got that moved. Kind of do that number, then these pull this way. And then if we move this flat, there's another little clippy. Same thing, don't drop it. And then now we can kind of lift at this guy. So what I typically do is use this to keep it put, just like that. So that we have access to all these two screws right here. So I get the rest out by hand. And right here, it's these two tabs. You wanna go up with your finger, like that, and then out like that. Now normally we would have the power turned off inside the car, but this screen isn't working. If you got a 2015, there's no battery right here, but you do still need access to this 12 volt or this high voltage disconnect. So we do need to unplug this. So now we gotta get the front out to get access to the 12 volt battery. Requires this out. Now we gotta do the carpet. Just kind of lift it back from the weather stripping. Now you don't want to yank too hard because your light's still connected. And I kind of use my fingernail to do the clip right here and then pull out like that. This one, there's no clip. You just pull straight out. Set that carpet aside. Next, you gotta get these two eight millimeters. Now we lift, and if you didn't take your washers out, do it now, because when you go to lift, the washers are going to come out. Oh. So that kind of pulls through right here. There we go. Alrighty, now we're taking off our negative cable here, 10 millimeter. Crack that loose. We've got the GPS batteries as well, if you need one of those. Uh, here, let me get this off. Let me pull one out, I'll show you guys. 
And that's one of these right here. GPS, Uber Motor Company. Next, we need to disconnect our high voltage cable. Easiest way to do that. See these bottom two ridges? I like to press those against the frame and it kind of unclips it. See if we kind of do this. Then it clips the red part out. Just like that. Now the car should be completely safe to work on. All right, first you want to take off these side panels to get to your dash pad screws. So we're going to take this here trim removal tool so you don't scratch anything up. Do this number. There's little clips in here, and you can use your fingernail or a pick. And there we go. Then the screw you want is this one, just like that. There we go. There we go. Take off this screw. In here, there's a bottom piece that pulls out. There you go. Now you got your clips like that. Got some screw holes in here. Inside the glove box rather. T20s. So I'll start from this side. There we go. There we go. Here's your clips. That's a tough one, but it's kind of you kind of need a, a nice momentum pulled straight this way. Now we got some more screws revealed. We're getting somewhere. Got some more T20s up here, so we can take out the glove box. Because we got to take out the glove box to get this pad up. Yep. Alrighty. Once we get this screw out, you don't want to pull hard because we got some more of those connectors down here. There's a little clip, you push down and then pull out like that. This one, you squeeze like that and then it comes out. There's one back here. There we go, he just pulls straight back out. If you ever accidentally close it, there's a uh, release mechanism down here. Next part is we need to lift up the dash pad so that we can gain access to all of the screws that hold in this this front piece here. So we're gonna switch over to the other side and grab some more of those uh, dash pad screws. We got another T20 down here. And this one is holding this piece to the dash. First, start pulling here. Let me get this out of the way. There we go. There we go. Okay. And then you're gonna be pulling towards yourself. And this one can be tough. There it is. Okay. Yeah, you just have to pull real hard and sudden. We can pop these guys out. There we go. Reveal some more of our T20s here. So we use these rods. And, um,. This is the part where you got to be real careful because the tips of these can scratch up your trim pieces and and uh, you can also give it the love bend right here. It kind of creases. You see a lot of Model S's where the MCU's been replaced. You'll see a crease right here and it's kind of unavoidable without the special Tesla tool. We're going to go ahead and tape off some of this stuff and then stick our levers in here and kind of pull the dash pad up. There's some clips that kind of hold the dash pad up.